we are solving one problem to check whether a decomposition is lossless or not. So, the solving this problem we are having a separate video where we have discussed the respective algorithm. So, please watch that one for the better understanding of this problem solve. So, here is the problem for us. So, given schema R we are having the relation R that is A, B, C, D. So, 5 attributes are there ranging from A to E with the functional dependencies are given are decomposed into R1, R2 and R3 and the respective attributes are given to us. Each uh, check whether the decomposition is dependency preserving and lossless or not. So, this is the problem for us. So, how to solve it? So, at first we have formed this table the name of the table is table lossy. It will have 5 columns because we are having 5 attributes and it will have 3 rows because we are having 3 decomposed relations from R. They are R1, R2 and R3. Okay. Now, how to fill up this table lossy table with alpha and beta? So, if you consider R1, so at first we are considering R1. So, R1 is having attributes A, B and C. So, as a result of that here for A, B and C column we shall be putting alpha. So, alpha A, alpha B and alpha C. For D as D and E are not participating in R1, so we shall go for beta row number 1 column number D in this way. Okay. Next we are going for R2, R2 is having B, C and D these 3 attributes only. So, for B, C and D and the rest will be filled up with beta. So, it will be beta 2e and it will be beta 2a. So, in this way we have filled up. Now, let us fill up the last one, last row. Here it is for R3. R3 is having C, D and E. And here they will be filled up with beta. So, beta 3a and beta 3b. So, up to this it is ok for us. Now, let us consider the functional dependencies. Here the functional dependencies a b, a b determines c d. So, you consider a b are you finding any two rows where a and b symbols are same that means here it is alpha a alpha b I will be finding another alpha a alpha b. It I think there is no such two rows can be found where the a and b this pair will have the same values. Okay. So, now go for A determines E. Are you finding the same value for A? Always you should consider those attributes which will be on the left hand side of the functional dependency. So, you are not find finding the same value for A. So, that is why we should not do any update in E. Now, let us go for the last one that is C determines D here. So, here all the C we are the, they are having the same values because in all cases C participated. So, now I shall go for D. So, here we are having this alpha here. So, that is why this thing will be made as alpha. So, that was mentioned in the respective algorithm also. So, C determines D. So, here all the C values are same. So, respectively all the D values must be same as one of them is alpha. So, all the beta will be replaced by alpha D accordingly. So, now it has got. So, is there any update in A and B? No, so there will be no uh, further update for them. A has got no update, so this cannot produce any further update. And C D, we have done the respective updates what was due. So now, can you find any row containing all alphas? Alpha, alpha, alpha. Here also alpha, but there is no alpha. Here it is starting with beta, starting with beta. So no need to check the rest. So I am not finding any row where only only alpha values are there. So, that is why this decomposition is lossy. So, that means this decomposition is lossy and not supporting the dependency preserving. In this way such problems can be solved. Thanks for watching this video.